Hey guys, this is Will from Pro Training Basketball, and in this video I'm going to show you how to block shots the right way. Alright guys, so I'm going to teach you how to block shots, but teach it the right way. So a lot of people think of blocking shots is about spiking a basketball and all of that. That's not this video, alright? That is how you, you do block it that way, but if you want to learn how to do that, you can click over here and learn how to uh, spike a volleyball, because that's what it is. All right, I'm teaching you how to block a basketball. And the reason why we don't want to spike it is because it sends it out of play and all of that. It, there is benefits. It does get the crowd involved and stuff like that, I get it. But you want to keep the ball in play and get it to your teammates. So the first and most important thing is being in good defensive position. You want to make sure that you're in help side if you're in help side, or able to meet the guy that's been uh, is attacking the basket, probably beat his defender and you want to be in good position, all right? And once you're in good position, when the guy drives to the basket, you need to step over and meet them, but be in athletic stance, all right? So you, just like everything else, you want to be low and be on balance, all right? But you need to have a quick jump. So one way to improve your ability to block shots is by improving your jumping or your quickness. So you can check out my uh, two previous videos and that'll help you out there. So once you meet the defender, the defender's driving to the basket or trying to score, you want to put both hands up, or at least one, so you want to have a hand up, but it want, you want it to be the side of your body where he's trying to score from. So if you've got a defender coming down the basket and they're trying to shoot with their left hand, I want to meet him with my right hand, or vice versa. If they're coming down with their right hand, I want to meet him with my left hand. The reason why you do this is because you're not reaching across your body, which will look more like a foul. If you go straight up, you have the rule of verticality, which means that Anything in the plane up to the ceiling of where your body is, is yours. So they cannot jump into you technically with it being a foul on you. Sometimes refs call it, but that's the rule. So what you wanna do, meet them with your outside hand, jump straight up, and now once you're up blocking the shot, it's all about like the, the wrist. You wanna softly dislodge the ball from their hand and guide it to a teammate or tip it out of their hands to you. Um, obviously, sometimes you're going to hit it out of bounds, that's fine, but in order to be a good shot blocker, when you're up there ready to block a shot, you're guiding it in the right direction of your team to start a fast break. So I just want to show you a couple times real quick in full speed where I block Tony's shot because I do it all the time, and uh, let's clip away to that. All right, that's it for this week. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions, you can comment. And uh, for last week's video, it's right here, so you can check that out. And hopefully I can see you next Thursday so we can help you perfect your game. Hey guys, I'm giving you guys the opportunity to help Tony and I build a brand. Obviously, Pro Training Basketball is growing and we want to continue the growth and help you guys get better videos and give you more tutorials and increase your game. So if you're interested in getting a Pro Training t-shirt that'll help us build a brand, click in the top right corner. Again, we only ship to the U.S. right now, but if you want to help us build a brand, we really appreciate it. Again, thank you, and see you next Thursday. All right, try and score. He can't block my... <laughs> I'm just laying off ladder. Yes, I can! <laughs>